Okay, in this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to set up Frame Relay using Packet Tracer um, to help you with the Cisco CCNA. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk through setting it up, building it from scratch, uh, setting up the network from scratch in Packet Tracer, and how to do a static Frame Relay map, and then how to do the preferred Frame Relay with uh, sub-interfaces. Okay, it's going to take a couple of tutorials probably, um, but uh, I'm going to walk you through it and it should be pretty good. Okay, let's build the network. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our WAN emulation and we're going to get a uh, cloud here. And this is going to serve as our frame relay uh, cloud of frame relay switches. Okay, and then we're going to need some routers. So we'll click on the routers here and we'll get some um, router PT, some generic routers here. So I'm going to drag out one, two, and three routers. All right, so I got those, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hook these routers up. So I'm gonna click on this and get these, and I'm gonna set the DCE side of the cables to the cloud, and set the DTs to the routers. So I click on the DCE side of the cables, and take it and put that there to serial zero, and go over here to this router to serial 2 and then once again this I'm on these cables here this is the DC side of the cable the clocking side usually it's the ISP that's going to handle the clocking so that's why I'm setting the clocking to be the uh, cloud here and so that's going to go to serial 1 right and then that'll go to serial 2 here and then once again the DC side of this cable to the cloud serial 2 and then to the router to serial 2, right? So the clocking is being handled by the the clocking, the DC side is being handled by the cloud and the DTE are the routers, right? Okay, and they're all the router serial 2 slash 0 interfaces. So we got those set up. Okay, and we're going to change the names of these guys right now. We'll call this R1 and we're going to take this guy and call this guy R2 and we'll take this guy call him R3 okay so we've got R1 router 1 R2 and R3 all right and then we're going to need PCs to connect to these and we can have switches too if we wanted to have multiple um, multiple hosts but I'm gonna bypass the switch and just go straight to the end devices and grab a PC and put a PC over here and then another PC over here and another PC over here okay and let's see here I'll take that we want to hook these guys up and we're gonna hook these guys up to the Ethernet ports on the routers and to do that since we don't have a switch here we're going to use a crossover cable so I'm going to go over here grab a crossover cable click here Ethernet to the first Ethernet which in this case is fast Ethernet 00, zero. alright and crossover Ethernet to Ethernet 00, zero. and crossover Ethernet Ethernet 00. Okay, so now we got all that. Of course, our interfaces are all down right now. That's why we got the red, but we'll bring them up. Okay, I'm going to label how we're going to configure this out. So for this PC, I'm going to make him 192.168.1.100. Okay, so he's going to be on the 192.168.1 network and he's going to be host 100. All right, so that's how I'm going to work that. For this guy over here, He's going to be on the 192.168. Let's say five network, and he'll be dot host 100. So 192.168.1, 192.168.5 network, host 100. All right. Okay, and then over here, this guy, I'm going to make him 172.16.1. Dot 100 okay so that'll be his network over here now inside this um, inside this frame relay 
network in here, this will be the 10 network inside here. So the 10 network will be inside this frame relay network. And I'm going to make some labels here for how we're going to do that. This guy is going to be, since he's router 1, we'll make him 10.0.0.1. And then on the serial interface right here. And then over here, this guy, on his serial interface, he'll be 10.0.0.2, because he's router 2, right? He's trying to keep naming conventions here to make sense. And then this guy will be 10.0.0.3, since he's router 3, all right? So inside here, this will be the 10 network inside here, all right? So we're going to have to configure that to work. Now, on the outside here, on this Ethernet interface, I'm going to make him 192.168.1.1 right here. I don't probably shouldn't have to label that, but in case anybody's concerned, I'll just do it anyway. So over here, 192.168.1.1. That's going to be right here on this interface. And he'll be right here. 172.168.1.2. And over here, this guy will be 192.168.5.1. Okay, and that's going to be on the Ethernet interface right here. All right, and we'll just use classful subnet masks. And we're also going to have to set up our DLCIs for each router. We have to have DLCIs that are locally significant for the router in question. So each router is going to need two DLCIs. This router is going to have a DLCI that goes to this router, and then this router is going to have a DLCI that goes to this router. And likewise, over here, this router, DLCI going that way, and a DLCI going that way, and this one, router DLCI this way, and DLCI going that way. And so we'll set that up. So let's make some labels so we know what we're configuring. So for this router, He's going to have DLCI, let's see here, I'm going to start, the, since he's router 1, the DLCIs will be 102, and that DLCI will go to router 2, and then he'll also have DLCI 103 going to router 3, okay, and then I'll just click on this and drag it here. So we're going to have, router 1 will have DLCI 102 and 103, okay, and, and then router 2 here will have DLCI 201 going to router 1, and DLCI 203 going to router 3 and let's make sure we get spaces in here for uniformity gotta make sure we have some uniformity here all right that looks good so 201 will go over here to router 1 203 will go to router 3 here all right so that's this guy's DLCIs that he we're going to configure and then router 3 also needs them so router 3 is going to have DLCI 301 and DLCI 302. All right. Let's put those there. And so now we'll have to configure those. So 301 will go this way, 302 will go that way. All right. Once again, what we're doing here is frame relay. All right.